Hello. Hello. Uh, we would like to tell you about uh, folk interpretations of being killed by lightning strikes uh, based on uh, materials uh, from Poland and from uh, Belarus. Uh, the inspiration for our topic uh, is the map uh, we found in the Atlas of Folk Culture in Poland, uh, Atlas Kultury Ludowej w Polsce, uh, by Kazimierz Moszyński. Uh, and uh, there is a map. Uh, which uh, presents uh, a distribution of two kinds of uh, beliefs about being killed by a uh, lightning strike. Uh, the first one, uh, which uh, interprets uh, this kind of uh, event uh, as a punishment, and uh, which interprets uh, the victim of, uh, of a lightning strike uh, as a sinner. Uh, the uh, other kind of belief uh, is uh, the interpretation of being killed by lightning uh, in a somewhat positive uh, sense, uh, as a kind of honor, uh, or that uh, it will be uh, somewhat uh, rewarded, for example, by uh, going to heaven. Uh, regarding uh, the map, uh, Kazimierz Moszyński uh, formulated uh, the hypothesis uh, about uh, chronology of this, uh, of both uh, kinds uh, of these beliefs, uh, and uh, according to him, uh, the positive attitude uh, about being killed by lightning uh, is older and uh, was in the past much more uh, common. Uh, and uh, the negative attitude uh, toward uh, victims of lightning strikes uh, is, uh, according to Kazimierz Moszyński, a newer layer of beliefs. And uh, also he added a note that the newer belief uh, is gaining pop popularity in recent times. Recent times uh, for Kazimierz Moszyński, it was the interwar period. And uh, before uh, we uh, we focus on uh, on uh, this hypothesis, uh, we would like to say something about folk interpretations of lighting, uh, how they uh, were uh, functioning in the folk imaginary. Uh, so first of all, uh, lightings were not accidental. Uh, lightings were instruments uh, in hands of uh, God or gods. And uh, lighting, uh, lightings were uh, used in fights between uh, the forces of good and the forces of heavy. And especially lighting strikes were directed uh, toward the heavy beings. Uh, and uh, during, during uh, these fights, uh, people were dying, uh, killed by lighting uh, strikes, uh, or accidentally or, 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 or not. And uh, their deaths were interpreted as a kind of distinction. And uh, as we said uh, before, this distinction could be a uh, positive, uh, a honor, uh, or a negative uh, when lighting strike uh, is uh, treated as a kind of uh, punishment. Uh, unfortunately, uh, to uh, confirm the Moszynski's uh, hypothesis, uh, we couldn't find ethnographic materials from Poland uh, which could say more about, uh, about the chronology of positive and negative attitudes toward being killed by lightings uh, in Poland, uh, because uh, most uh, of uh, ethnographic documents uh, on this topic uh, present uh, the negative attitude. And uh, this is uh, why we would like to return to the ethnogeographic argument of Moszynski. Uh, so we present once again uh, the map uh, from, uh, from uh, the Atlas of Folk Culture. Uh, but this map uh, is simplified to represent only two variants. Uh, when uh, first variant, uh, whether in some locations there are any traces of interpretation of victims of lighting strikes in a positive way, uh, and uh, they are they are represented by green dots, and uh, the uh, second variant, uh, whether there are no traces of positive attitude at all, and uh, uh, they are represented by red dots. Uh, 
uh, the map shows the territory of Republic of Poland before uh, 1939. Uh, and as you can see, there is very, very clear uh, division between uh, West and East. Uh, on the east, there is a concentration of uh, green uh, dots, uh, while on the west, a uh, concentration of red dots. Uh, the distribution is more or less correlated uh, with distribution of uh, Polish ethnicity and distribution of uh, Catholics. Uh, however, the areas of uh, red dots is, uh, as you can see, non-uniform. On its peripheries, there are islands of uh, green dots, and uh, from ethnogeographic perspective, uh, such distribution uh, can be interpreted as peripheral. Peripheral and islands of green dots uh, uh, should be, from this perspective, treated as rakes of older beliefs. Uh, and uh, it's interesting uh, what process uh, resulted in such distribution, in the distribution and uh, how, long, uh, how long did it take. Uh, in this context, Kazimierz Moszyński paid attention uh, to the popular cures uh, and led the lighting strike you, uh, which is uh, commonly noticed in Poland and in Belarus uh, in 19th century, 20th century. Uh, and according to Moszyński, uh, the cures was uh, influencing the thinking about being killed by uh, lighting uh, in a negative uh, way. Uh, of course, this explanation can be treated as a uh, full explanation uh, because it's unclear what is the origin of the cures. Uh, whether it's a relic of some ancient views uh, and we see uh, some long duration uh, phenomenon, uh, whether this cures wasn't a cure in the past, but uh, it was uh, rather a blessing and uh, it uh, switched uh, in some uh, moment of time uh, its meaning. Or maybe there is an inverse ca causation and really the cures is the effect of spreading of newer beliefs about being killed uh, by lighting. Uh, so the negative interpretation. Uh, however, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this option is probably uh, the less uh, likely. Uh, and uh, if uh, negative attitudes toward uh, being killed by lighting is newer, then the potential explanation of this fact is the influence of uh, Christianity. Uh, in the Old Testament, uh, lightings are presented as an instrument of God's judgment, uh, judgments and uh, punishments. Uh, however, in the times uh, where, the, where the most of population was illiterate, uh, the more important role was played by other drivers of uh, Christian narrative. Uh, for example, homilies, sacral art, and uh, church uh, decisions about burials of victims of lightning strikes. Uh, about the last one, there is an interesting illustration uh, from 16th uh, century uh, Russia, uh, where is known a story of Artemy uh, Virholsky, uh, who was killed by lightning strike, uh, and uh, the church first uh, refused to bury him. Uh, but after the series of uh, miracles, uh, the church changed uh, its decision and Artemi was even uh, canonized. Uh, this illustration is interesting because it shows that negative attitude toward being killed by lighting is not only related to Western Christianity, but also Orthodox, uh, and also that it can be traced back uh, even to 16th uh, century. Uh, and uh, there are uh, more uh, traces of uh, negative interpretation of victims of lighting uh, in early modern peer period uh, in Poland. And uh, for example, it's apparent when we follow uh, writings of old uh, homilies. Uh, for example, in the homilies of Franciszek Kowalski, uh, who was a uh, Jesuit prized living at the turn of uh, 17th and 18th uh, century, uh, there are two stories. Uh, the one story is about uh, three men returning home during the storm. Uh, during it, uh, two men were killed by lightning strike and uh, 
the third man uh, survived uh, the storm only because uh, he confessed uh, his sins and uh, repented. Uh, and so uh, there is uh, another uh, another story, a story about a blasphemer uh, who was killed by uh, a lightning from crucifix. And uh, both families uh, present lightnings as uh, killing the men who are in some way worse or more sinful. Uh, next, uh, negative, uh, negative attitude to our victims of lightning is also apparent in uh, sacral art. Uh, and I guess it's uh, especially uh, important because uh, it could influence very much uh, the folk imaginarium. Uh, and uh, we could uh, find uh, traces of negative attitude to uh, victims of lightning strikes uh, uh, even in 17th century. And uh, on the slide, there are illustrations of polychrome from the Jasna Gura Monastery, uh, probably the most important monastery in Poland, uh, where you can see uh, how lightnings were striking unbelievers, Turks, and rich uh, sinners. And this example uh, shows uh, show that the potential Christian interpretation on victims of lightning strikes as sinners is much older than uh, the period of uh, ethnographic research, and it could be present in the folk imagination for centuries. In Poland, it seems to be widespread no later than in 19th century. And uh, there's now the question, uh, what about Moszynski's remark of gaining popularity by negative attitude in the recent times? And we tried to verify this hypothesis on Belarusian material, and we analyzed a rite of burial of an arrow, Pachavania Strali Pa Belarusko in Belarusian. Uh, this rite is uh, spread in southeastern Belarus and usually is held on the uh, four. 40th day after Easter on a session day. Uh, also, uh, this uh, burial of an arrow uh, could be uh, uh, before this burial of an arrow could be also uh, such a Virginia strally uh, like leading of an arrow uh, for during those 40 days up, um, after Easter. But uh, this culmination of this rite was this uh, 40th day, and um, uh, you see the aerial of this rite. It's on Belarusian, Ukrainian, and Russian border, but we'll tell uh, mostly about Belarusian material, so southern eastern Belarus. And uh, this rite uh, had uh, such uh, main components as Varzhenia um, Karagodov. Uh, so uh, going uh, in lines or dancing circle dances uh, through, the, through the village and after that uh, going to the field uh, with rye and after that uh, burying on this field with rye, uh, burying of some object. Uh, usually it is, it is, I'd say it is because it's a life tradition, usually it is a metallic object like a coin or a hairpin or earring or ring. It can also be a hair comb, a ribbon, and it can also be a doll made of grass or textile, and it can also be a piece of bread or ears of rye. And uh, uh, all the women who are main uh, preservers of this rite, uh, they believe that uh, barring um, this object, uh, they bury the lightning and uh, uh, after the, this ride, uh, the, the real lightning uh, will, will now uh, burn the village. And uh, also in Belarusian, uh, in Belarusian folk beliefs, uh, there is such a belief that uh, when lightning strikes uh, to the S, uh, so some object uh, rests in the S, and in some in three years, for example, it can be. Uh, on the ground. Uh, so uh, this lightning was imagined as a material object, you know, and so this belief is strongly connected with uh, this right. Uh, we tell about this barrier 
barrel of an arrow. And so you see uh, my uh, field uh, photo of 2010 uh, of uh, such a ride. And you see also uh, this uh, doll made of grass in the roll of this arrow, uh, which must be buried on that session day. And you see the process of burying. It, uh, this photo was made in 2014, so uh, there were no coins in the time in Belarus, so people uh, put uh, paper money to this uh, grave of an arrow of the doll. And after that, uh, such a construction of grass uh, was made uh, on those tomb of an arrow. And uh, the main song of such a ride, uh, you see the words on your screen. So I'll read uh, the whole song. Oh, I will send an arrow through all the village. Oh, go arrow down the village. Oh, kill arrow a good young man. There is no one to cry for the young man where his mother lives rivers flow, where his sister lives, streams flow, where his wife lives, fires are burning, or as a variant, there is no dew there. And there are uh, many interesting uh, details in this text. Uh, firstly, uh, we see that uh, the mother of a killed uh, young man cries a lot, and his sister cries uh, little, <laughs> and his wife doesn't cry at all. And we see uh, a reflection of uh, old imagination uh, about um, close relativeness. So mother is close to a man than his wife because mother is uh, part of his uh, of a, of a family he was born and a wife it's just a new relative uh, got after the marriage uh, uh, the second interesting detail is that uh, uh, those uh, crying uh, can symbolize rain uh, because we know that after the lightning after the thunder rain comes uh, so uh, this uh, song shows us uh, a symbolic uh, description of uh, striking of lightning light lightning strike and after that of uh, the beginning of the rain and uh, old women who uh, realized this right they believed that uh, uh, by burying of an arrow, singing this song, uh, they uh, they get good harvest and get uh, this uh, protection uh, against lightning to their village. And uh, for us, um, uh, the first part of this song is uh, quite important. Uh, we'll see that uh, it's uh, a request for to arrow to kill a young man, or kill arrow a good young man. Uh, in some variants of this song, uh, there could be words uh, where this arrow is asked not to kill a young man, or just a constatation that the arrow killed a good young man. Uh, so we analyze it uh, 59 uh, recordings, 59 texts of such a song. Uh, and uh, made such a classification depending on the year of uh, birth uh, of a woman who sang this song. Usually there were uh, women as instruments. And uh, uh, you see that uh, for the barriers uh, of this tradition born uh, before 1910, uh, there are uh, more positive uh, connotation of this young man in a song to being killed by, by the arrow. And uh, um, later, uh, for their uh, informants uh, born after 1930, uh, there are more, uh, more uh, negative connotations or natural connotations. Uh, so we can say that the hypothesis of Kazimir Mashinsky that this change in uh, from positive to negative connotation of being killed uh, by the lightning, uh, it uh, can be proved by the Belarusian material, uh, by the main song of the burial of a narrow ride. 
And here are our conclusions. Uh, so, from the ethnogeographic perspective, uh, we uh, could uh, notice that uh, in the past, uh, the positive attitude uh, towards being killed by lightning strike uh, was much more common. And uh, likely, uh, there was a transformation from positive attitude uh, to a negative attitude. And uh, Belarusian materials uh, confirmed uh, this direction. Uh, however, uh, we could uh, uh, speculate that the tempo of change uh, from positive to negative attitude was different among Poles and Belarusians. Uh, in Poland, uh, the beginnings of the transformation uh, can, be, can be dated back even to the uh, 17th century or earlier, and like in 19th century, the negative uh, attitude was very common. Why in uh, Belarus, as Alena showed, uh, the transformation uh, was progressing uh, in the first half of the 20th century. But I must mention that we showed it only on the example of one son of one right. Yes, and our conclusions are very mild, and we encourage everyone uh, to discussion. Thank you very much. And thank you for your attention.